Hello everyone and thanks for joining me today again at Crypto Trading. This is JB Trader and today we're going to talk about volume and how the volume affects Bitcoin futures contracts. All right. So what I have pulled up here is I just want to gain some perspective and some context on what does you know a lot of volume look like, what does light volume look like. So right here I have today's uh, a snapshot of some, you know, the most active futures contracts, and I have highlighted the volume. So as you can see, at the top of the list, you have the ES. All right, it's the S&P 500 E minis. This is the March contract, and so as of today, January 4th, the current volume is about 1.1 million. So it's 1129430. So that's uh, the trading volume for today. And then right under that, you have the 10-year note, the March contract, and that their volume is uh, right on, right under that, a um, little less than 1.1 million as well. So it's it's you know heavily traded, and because it's heavily traded, you have you know fairly tight spreads, and we'll go over that as well. And as you can see, you know down you have a big drop. The third one is the five-year uh, note. March contract and that daily volume is 679,000 and then on down crude oil 631,000 down to the euro dollar March contract 409,000 all the way down and the bottom of this particular uh, list on the page you have soybeans and copper the March contract around a little over a hundred thousand uh, contracts traded for the day all right, so just keep those numbers in mind. Now I want to show you what Bitcoin futures looks like right now. So these are the currencies page. Again, as of today, Thursday, January 4th. At the very top, you see the euro. The euro March contract volume is about a little over 202,000 contracts traded. Right under that is the yen March contract at 114,000 contracts traded and if you keep going all the way down now we find some Bitcoin so you've got the Bitcoin January uh, futures contract from the CME at 756 contracts traded and then you have the SIBO February contract for Bitcoin at 276 contracts traded so the volume is very light it's very light in the you know world of currencies and just overall futures market it's very light volume and it is new okay so now what that looks like on the chart here's my chart I'm gonna pull up TradeStation TradeStation is one of the brokers that does offer it and <clears throat> so right here is the continuous contract pulled up so it's like you have the at symbol at BTC and uh, that's a continuous Bitcoin futures contract and I have it on a daily chart and that means that each candlestick you see represents one day now if you go to the top the upper left hand corner of your the window here it's really small and it's kinda hard to see uh, these numbers so what I'm gonna do is go to format and go down to window format my window and this is called your status line and so here's my status line under the font uh, tab I'm just gonna keep the font style I'm gonna make it bold and I'm gonna pull it up to about a 14 set that at default you can do it however you want I'm gonna hit OK and it makes it a little bit easier to see so up here on your status line you have your symbol uh, you have the, the time frame that the chart is pulled up under this is from the CME and keep going as you have the bid and you have the ask. Now, well, I'm 55. This is based on March. I'm going to go to down here. Do you see uh, this tab BTCF18? That is the January 2018 contract for Bitcoin. Again, up in the upper left hand corner, BTCF18. Uh, different contracts, um, months, you know, has a letter. And I honestly forget the letters all the time. I have to keep like looking up what's the letter for this month uh, for different commodities and stuff. So 
bad memory. Uh, I'll get it one day. So the January one is F, okay? For 18 represents 2018. This is a daily chart. And I want you to notice up here, B equals 14, 550, A equals 15, 0, 095. That's the bid ask. Now look at the um, the spread between the bid ask, the, the size, the amount of ticks, amount of dollars between. You have 14,550. You know, that's uh, there's like a, a buy order. That's the bid. Someone's willing to buy at that price, and then but. People who are willing to sell are willing to sell at this price. That's the asking price, fifteen thousand ninety-five. It's a big difference, okay? Because look at the volume. V equals seven hundred and sixty. It's a very light volume. And if I keep going further down, here's the February contract. It's a daily chart. Um, look at your bid ask. Again, eleven thousand nine twenty on the bid, fifteen thousand one hundred and fifty on the ask. Volume B equals forty seven. Let's go to March. See if March gets any better. The March contract as of today is uh, the bid is fourteen thousand seven hundred and ninety, and the ask is sixteen thousand four hundred and fifteen. Volume is fifty five contracts. So. What this looks like when something is very uh, liquid and has a much higher volume, I'm going to go to the ES, the S&P 500, meaning it's the continuous contract. Look up here. Look it. I hear that a lot. Look it. Look it. All right. So the bid, 2,724 and 75 cents. Look at the ask, 2,725. You know, that's like one tick. It's like a quarter. Look how tight that is. It's one move away. Look at the volume. One million one hundred thirty nine thousand ninety six. And it's kinda like if you go to a like a farmer's market or you know, a place where there's a lot of vendors and you have uh vendors trying to sell, I don't know, cell phones. Everyone's trying to sell cell phones at these tables, uh, and they're all the same cell phone. They're all competing against each other. So if you're competing against each other, what typically happens to the price? The price from vendor to vendor gets smaller. Okay, it it contracts, and it's like you're on sale for ninety nine ninety five, and you want to sell it to me for ninety nine ninety three. Oh, look down here. This is two pennies cheaper. Ninety nine ninety. Okay, you win my business. So it's, I mean, it's very competitive, very competitive. Whereas though, if you go into a, a market, farmer's market, and there's like two vendors, they can kind of charge whatever they want. You only have two options, all right? You only have two options, and they can, yeah, the spread kind of widens out a lot. Same way like uh, pre-market, post-market, the spread gets wider. It's, it's not as many people there. It's not as many, you know buyers and sellers and it, the crowd thins out so you know volume makes a big difference I mean think about it if you if you bought let's see if you bought let's go to January Bitcoin contract okay so the spread is so big it's 450 it's almost 550 uh, dollars. It's like if you go in and out immediately, you could lose a lot of money. You can lose a lot of money, you know, if it goes against you. Um, so just keep that in mind. Volume, very important. So if you want to trade the futures uh, contracts right now, pay attention to your bid ask spread. Okay, it's not tight right now. It's not tight at all. Uh, you need price to the underlying to really move in your favor um, because if it moves against you whatever position you get in long or short you have to overcome the spread as well as the underlying uh, moving alright so I'm checking out I uh, just wanted you guys to take notice of that and, and get the, the volume context um, for Bitcoin futures in comparison to other things that are way more liquid alright I'll talk to you later JB Trader out enjoy your day 724, 
and seventy-five cents. Look at the ask, two thousand seven hundred twenty-five. You know, that's like one tick. It's like a quarter. Look how tight that is. It's one move away. Look at the volume. One million one hundred thirty-nine thousand ninety-six. And it's kind of like if you go to a like a farmer's market or you know a place where there's a lot of vendors and you have uh, vendors trying to sell I don't know cell phones everyone's trying to sell cell phones at these tables uh, and they're all the same cell phone they're all competing against each other so if you're competing against each other what typically happens to the price the price from vendor to vendor gets smaller okay it, it contracts and it's like you're on sale for Ninety nine ninety five, and you want to sell it to me for ninety nine ninety three? Oh, look down here. This is two pennies cheaper. Ninety nine ninety. Okay, you win my business. So it's, I mean, it's very competitive, very competitive. Whereas though, if you go into a, a market, farmers market, and there's like two vendors, they can kind of charge whatever they want. You only have two options. All right, you only have two options, and they can, yeah, the spread kind of widens out a lot. Same way, like. Uh, pre-market, post-market, the spread gets wider. It's it's not as many people there. It's not as many, you know, buyers and sellers, and it, the crowd thins out. So, you know, volume makes a big difference. I mean, think about it. If you, if you bought, let's see, if you bought, let's go to January Bitcoin contract, Okay, so the spread is so big. It's 450. It's almost 550 uh, dollars. It's like if you go in and out immediately, you could lose a lot of money. You can lose a lot of money, you know, if it goes against you. Um, so just keep that in mind. Volume very important. So if you want to trade the futures uh, contracts right now. Pay attention to your bid ask spread. Okay, it's not tight right now. It's not tight at all. Uh, you need price to the underlying to really move in your favor. Um, because if it moves against you, whatever position you get in, long or short, you have to overcome the spread as well as the underlying uh, moving. All right, so I'm checking out. I uh, just wanted you guys to take notice of that and, and get the, the volume context. Um, for Bitcoin futures in comparison to other things that are way more liquid. All right, I'll talk to you at the 095. That's the bid ask. Now look at the um, the spread between the bid ask, the the size, the amount of ticks, amount of dollars between. You have 14,550. You know that's uh, there's like a, a buy order. That's the bid. Someone's willing to buy at that price, and then but. People who are willing to sell are willing to sell at this price. It's the asking price, fifteen thousand ninety-five. It's a big difference, okay? Because look at the volume. V equals seven hundred and sixty. It's a very light volume. And if I keep going further down, here's the February contract. It's a daily chart. Um, look at your bid ask. Again, eleven thousand nine twenty on the bid, fifteen thousand one hundred and fifty on the ask. Volume V equals forty seven. Let's go to March. See if March gets any better. The March contract as of today is uh, the bid is fourteen thousand seven hundred and ninety, and the ask is sixteen thousand four hundred and fifteen. Volume is fifty five contracts. So. What this looks like when something is very uh, liquid and has a much higher volume, I'm going to go to the ES, the S&P 500, I meaning it's the continuous contract. Look up here. Look it. I hear that a lot. Look it. Look it. All right. So the bid, 2,724 and 75 cents. Look at the ask, 2,725. You know, that's like one tick. It's like a quarter. Look how tight that is. It's one move away. Look at the volume. One million one hundred thirty-nine thousand ninety-six. 
and it's kind of like if you go to a like a farmers market or you know a place where there's a lot of vendors and you have uh, vendors trying to sell I don't know cell phones everyone's trying to sell cell phones at these tables uh, and they're all the same cell phone they're all competing against each other so if you're competing against each other what typically happens to the price the price from vendor to vendor gets smaller okay it, it contracts and it's like you're on sale for 99.95 and you want to sell it to me for 99.93 oh look down here this is two pennies cheaper 99.90 okay you win my business so it's I mean it's very competitive very competitive whereas though if you go into a, a market farmers market and there's like two vendors they can kind of charge whatever they want you only have two options all right you only have two options and they can yeah uh, I'll get it one day so the January one is F okay for 18 represents 2018 this is a daily chart and I want you to notice up here B equals 14 by 50 a equals 15 0 95 that's the bid ask now look at the um, the spread between the bid ask the, the size the amount of ticks amount of dollars between you have 14,550 you know that's uh, there's like a, a buy order that's the bid someone's willing to buy at that price and then but people who are willing to sell are willing to sell at this price that's the asking price 15,095 it's a big difference okay because look at the volume V equals 760 it's a very light volume and if I keep going further down here's the February contract it's a daily chart um, look at your bid ask again 11,920 on the bid 15,150 on the ask volume V equals 47 Let's go to March. See if March gets any better. The March contract as of today is uh, the bid is 14,790 and the ask is 16,415. Volume is 55 contracts. So, what this looks like when something is very uh, liquid and has a much higher volume, I'm going to go to the ES. The S&P 500 means the continuous contract. Look up here. Look it. I hear that a lot. Look it. Look it. All right. So the bid 2,724 and 75 cents. Look at the ask 2,725. You know that's like one tick. It's like a quarter. Look how tight that is. It's one move away. Look at the volume. One million. 139,096 and it's kind of like if you go to a like a farmers market or you know a place where there's a lot of vendors and you have uh, vendors trying to sell I don't know cell phones everyone's trying to sell cell phones at these tables uh, and they're all the same cell phone they're all competing against each other so if you're competing against each other what typically happens to the price the price from vendor to vendor gets smaller. Okay, it, it contracts, and it's like you're on sale for 99.95, and you want to sell it to me for 99.93. Oh, look down here. This is two pennies cheaper. 99.90. Okay, you win my business. So it's I mean 